What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got some lovely new Digimon option cards that we need to be having a little bit of a look about. One that just got leaked on the, I say leaked, revealed on the official Twitter. And one that did actually leak out from a magazine. So, let's take a look at a blue option card. And the lovely Jason Snowjacks has provided our translation today. And has also suggested that this looks quite a bit like an anti-purple card. And I must confess, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in complete agreement. What we've got here is Ultimate Stream, a free cost option card that reads, Return up to three of your opponent's level 3 Digimon to their hand. Discard any evolution sources those Digimon had. Now, of course, as the game stands at the moment, realistically, all that really means is you're putting their level 2s that would be discarded. But that's fine. I mean, level 2s in your hand do nothing anyway, so they kind of have to be discarded. But what you're doing is just you're getting rid of your opponent's level 3 Digimon. And what this really strikes me as here is one of those cards which is anti-swarm decks. So, we talked about Swarm Decks before, that's where people play lots and lots of very little, very small, very weak Digimon. The theory basically being, look, my, my Digimon are gonna get destroyed by my opponent's security, but I'm gonna be attacking their security so often and so numerously that it really doesn't matter if I do. Well, this is a good counter to that. Now, of course, it's not the only counter to that we've actually seen in Ultimate Power. One of the earlier cards that we had a look at from the set that got revealed was the yellow option card Lightning Ball, which as a free cost card gives three of your opponent's level three Digimon minus 4,000 power until the end of turn. Now, of course, realistically speaking, bar the odd rare example, a link to that video is in the description, I've had a good look at this card, that will just destroy or delete free level 3 Digimon. This doesn't delete them, it puts them into your opponent's hand. Now, clearly, sometimes that's going to be a very bad thing. Take something like Gabumon, for instance, when you play it, you draw a card. That is played because you want to play it from hand because it's awesome. Putting that into your opponent's hand, arguably not the cleverest move. However, that's the rare exception. Now, I did say that this was an anti-purple card. Why, why would I refer to it as an anti-purple card? Well, think about something like Piedmon. When you play Piedmon, you may play up to two level four or less purple Digimon from your trash without paying their costs, though you do not get to use any when played effects. Well, if you just put your opponent's level 3 Digimon into their trash, you're letting them get them back with Piedmon for free. So it's not exactly doing a huge amount of bad stuff here. Whereas by putting them in your opponent's hand, you're basically saying, look, not only do you not have them, but I know that you're playing to try and get them back from your trash. Now you can't. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's kind of good, ladies and gentlemen. So, it is kind of nice that just, just slowing down those purple ones in that regard as well. I like it. The fact of the matter is, this is an anti-swarm deck. Actually, one more example. Metal Garurumon, when you attack, you can play a level 3 purple Digimon from your trash without paying the cost. So, again, we've got a, a very similar thing going on here. You're getting rid of their cards, but you're not running into them just being able to play them again for free. And I really appreciate that. That seems like a very good thing. But going back to the card as a whole, what we really see here is just a way to stop Swarm Decks. Because, look, we, we have not had that many tournaments, alright? This game is very much in its infancy, and for pretty much the entire time we have had the game so far, we've either not had tournaments due to the whole pandemic thing, or the amount and size of tournaments has been greatly restricted, due to the whole pandemic thing. We are very, very early on in this game. Let's be very clear about that. But certainly Swarm Decks have a chance. I've seen some do well, I've seen some do badly. We do not have enough data and enough testing to really say for certain. 
But now if Swarm decks do become big, all of a sudden blue decks now have an option to try and take them down. In the same way that yellow decks do. Does that mean we're going to get cards equivalent to this anti-swarm cards for other typings? I would imagine so. I would imagine this isn't going to be the only one we ever see. We don't know is the honest answer at the moment. It's one of those wait and see jobbers. But as it stands at the moment, I would feel fairly confident predicting that if not in this set, definitely by the time we get to the end of the next set, we're going to see option cards for every colour along these lines. But that's good. Because the thing is, against a Swarm deck, this is phenomenal. Against a non-Swarm deck, it's fine. But how often is your opponent going to have three level threes on the field outside of a Swarm deck? They're just going to evolve them up. So you're not always going to get the most use out of this. And then we're into deck building. How many of these do you play? Do you even play it at all? Knowing that it may or may not end up being really useful. That is what makes me excited about card games. And what we've got here is a really nice card that counters some decks, but isn't so good against others. And that's a decision you've got to make when deck building and predicting the meta. And that makes me excited. Hey, speaking of which, let's look at a purple option card, Grizzly Wing. This one was shown off in a magazine, hence why we don't have quite such a lovely image. It is a two-cost card, and it reads, Play a level 3 purple Digimon from your trash without paying its cost. Digimon played by this effect do not activate their when played effects. Okay. And as a security skill, it activates the card's main effect. We didn't talk about the security skill on the previous card. It doesn't have one. Obviously, that's a bad thing. So what you're basically doing here is recovering. And this is huge. We have not seen much recovery at all in the Digimon TCG. Generally speaking, when cards go, they go. Now, the other cool thing is, of course, that this is very much a purple card. Now, I know it's actually a purple card, but I just showed you Piedmon and I just showed you Metal Garurumon that can play level 3 purple Digimon from your trash. This can do that, but as an option card. Now, one simplistic way of looking at this is basically going, hey, I can play Impmon as a free cost, or I can play Tapermon as a free cost. Now, the reason I use them as examples are partly because they're two of the only free level threes we've seen so far, and partly because they've got really good destroyed effects. Impmon, when destroyed, you discard three cards on the top of your deck. Now, I'm not loving this yet, but cards like the one we're currently talking about that lets you play from the trash can be really good. I mean, the combo here is fairly simple, right? You play Impmon, it gets destroyed, you trash the top three cards of your deck, so then you can play your second Impmon for a two cost using this, rather than as a free cost. And Tapermon, when it's destroyed, you draw a card. It's a free cost, this lets you play it as a two cost. This lets you play it earlier because it got discarded from Impmon. Remember, if you're drawing one card during your turn, plus one for every evolution, but you're regularly trashing the top three cards of your deck, it may very well be that it's easier to play Tapermon from your trash than it is to play it from your hand, and when you're only paying two to do so, that's good. So the simplistic way is basically going, look, I'm paying two rather than three to play it, yay, that's good. But it also gives you a fifth Tapermon. You do not have to play this in a deck that's deliberately trying to play from the trash. You could play this just in a deck normally. And you hold it in your hand and you keep it and you keep it and you keep it. And when you get to the stage where you run out of Tapermon, you play this and it's an extra one. And now Tapermon still draws you a card in the same way it used to. That's a good thing. But now it becomes a two cost rather than a free cost. As a side note, the other level three purple Digimon we've seen so far is Demi Devamon. There is absolutely no reason to play this unless you are desperate. And it's the only level three in your trash. Or... You don't want to play an Impmon. Because remember, your opponent can deck you out with Impmon. At the beginning of your turn, if you can't draw a card, you lose. 
So clearly getting too many Impmon destroyed becomes a bad thing. This is a two cost to play normally, zero cost to evolve, 3000 power. You play it because it's cheap to play from your hand. You do not play it because you actually want to take advantage of this new option card. You should not be using this. You shouldn't be using Grizzly Wing to play Demi Devimon. That, that's really not the point here. At the moment, we've got Impmon, and as far as I'm concerned, far better is Tapermon. But it's either recovery, or it's playing from the trash, or it's playing a card more cheaply than you would otherwise be able to do so. For all of these reasons, this is a very, very good card. And as a two cost, I'm down, ladies and gentlemen. I am down. But I want to know if you're down, or whether you're up, or just what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a bunch of other games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.